Introduction and scope of periodontics. Today we will be discussing that what is periodontic and what is the scope, the dimensions and the horizons of periodontics in dentistry. So as we all know, a child is a miniature adult. A child is a dynamic organism between the stages of the childhood or when the child is born to the puberty. The child constantly keeps on changing. That is, the child undergoes various physical, then physiological, emotional and biological changes so to become an adult. Now, what is the importance of children teeth or what is the importance of primary teeth? Primary teeth hold a great importance in the dental arch as they provide as the path for the eruption of the permanent molars and they provide in maintenance of the arch integrity first then secondly they help in maintaining the aesthetics of the oral cavity in children and thus maintain and help in imparting proper confidence to the child so this helps in maintaining the aesthetics the phonetics that is the speaking tendency of the child with the help of the lips, the teeth, the child is able to speak few vowels and consonants. So it helps in maintaining the speech of the child. So the aesthetics, the speech that is the phonetics and the mastication. So that providing proper nutritional status and proper nutritional value by chewing various type of foods which are present in the diet chart of a child. So this also helps in maintaining the general or the overall health of the child along with the dental health. So it also helps in maintaining the aesthetics, the mastication, the phonetics and the arch integrity that is the turgidity or the rigidity of the arch of the dental arch of the various oral structures. So we come to the conclusion that the child's teeth are very important. Now what is periodontics? The term periodontics is derived by the bifurcation of two terms that is pedo means pious of the child and dontics is the study of the teeth. So periodontics is the study of children teeth. Now let us know uh, what are the various definitions which are proposed for this periodontics. Periodontics is an age defined speciality that is it is related to a particular age generally the age comes from zero to 14 years of age group of children are treated in this speciality. So it is an age defined speciality which provides both primary that is the first health care services or the preventive services to children primary and therapeutic. Then therapeutic means all the therapeutic modalities like pulp capping, the pulp to therapy procedures and other procedures are involved in periodontics. So primary and comprehensive, preventive and therapeutic, oral health care for infants from childhood to adolescence, including those with special health care needs, that is, including those children who require special health care, for example, the special children or the handicapped children. So the periodontics, it involves treating of from infants, then children, then adolescents and even the handicapped children and it provides the primary services, the preventive services, the therapeutic services and the comprehensive or the overall services to provide the health care needs or the oral health care of the child in maintaining the child's confidence also. So this was a definition which was given by American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. So I have already explained that what is the definition of periodontics. Now let us come to know what are the roles and responsibilities of a periodontic towards oneself, towards the nation and towards the patient. So a periodontist holds certain responsibilities. First of all, the responsibility towards the patient. The periodontist should deliver the best services or which can be delivered by the person uh, in the best of their ability and in the best of their skill towards the patient. The periodontist should be able to recognize or diagnose the disease which is affected 
by like the patient is affected by the particular disease that periodontist should be able to identify and recognize the disease and treat it accordingly for example if a periodontist fails to recognize or diagnose a disease then how will he be able to give a proper treatment so the first step is a diagnosis so first he should be able to diagnose the disease then treat the disease accordingly and even to the best of their ability Next, the periodontist also should take care of the children in a proper manner by various behavior management strategies and help to impart proper oral health care education to the child so that they become a proper citizen of the future. Then, next is the responsibility towards oneself. That is, the periodontist should be confident and they should be proud of their profession that they have a responsibility of children in their hands who are the building blocks of future. So the second thing is that they should refer if the case is not under their control or under their horizons of their ability, then the case should be referred to any other specialist. Then the responsibility is towards the society or the nation. They should conduct proper health care camps or health checkup camps and proper uh, community education these programs should be conducted by a periodontist so that a mass or the community should be educated for the proper oral health care and so that they become a proper citizen in the future next comes when the question arises that when the, the child should first visit a dental clinic the first visit of a child to a dental clinic should be round about like when the first tooth erupts in the oral cavity or sometimes there's another school of thought which says that around the three years when the entire primary dentition is intact that the child should, should be brought to the dentist or the pedodontist. Now this particular speciality have few aims and objectives and let us know what are these aims and objectives of pedodontics. So first of all a periodontist should have the aim of properly diagnosing and treating the disease to the best possible ability of the person. So, and then after diagnosing the disease, the proper oral health condition should be evaluated of the mouth of the patient and proper preventive services should be given to the patient, so which should be the first priority. So prevention rather than treatment is the first priority that is before development of the disease we can take certain preventive measures to prevent the disease from occurring so this was the first thing or the first aim that is prevention rather than the treatment then all the diseases should be cessated at the earliest attempt and the earliest attempt of the treatment should be made even to the mothers, the prenatal care or the prenatal dental care should be given so that the future children also have less risk of the dental caries. Because it, there are many studies which are conducted which show that streptococcus mutans affected mother, the children probability for caries is high. So even the prenatal care is important for the mothers. Then restoring the mouth to the proper health or for example if there are any caries in the mouth or any deep pits of fishes all of them should be restored so that to maintain a harmonious relationship of the maxillary and the mandibular arch and for example if any tooth are lost then replacement of the lost tooth by the means of a space maintainer or any other processes should be done then if there's any tooth that is hurting should be relieved from pain by various pulp therapeutic procedures. Then the periodontist should always try to update their knowledge one or the other time. Then for, because there are various new strategies which are upcoming for a periodontist, then these new strategies should be taken or kept in mind and they should be inculcated and implemented for the future for the betterment of the patient. The periodontist should always try 
to instill a positive dental attitude in their patient by various behavior management strategies. They should take care that the patient should not undergo through a negative experience or a negative dental experience which will be harmful for the future dental visits or the dental procedure. So their knowledge should always be updated. They should instill a positive dental attitude. Then a periodontist also has the responsibility of managing the handicapped children and these handicapped children are the special children who require special management strategies, special health care needs and these also suffer from a variety of dental problems. So these handicapped children need to be managed by a periodontist and if so ever the teeth are need for interception or orthodontic correction then the responsibility of the periodontist to undergo such corrections then the, the second uh, thing is that the periodontist should also educate the parents and the caregivers the pupils for proper oral health care maintenance of the children then they should also encourage in maintaining the aesthetics of the dentition and provide good oral health care for infants and children through adolescence. Now let us know what is the history of the milestones of the periodontist. This uh, speciality has certain history which dates back to the Greek era or the European era. Initially it was believed that the primary teeth do not hold any importance in uh, the 1800 BC in the Egypt it was told that they do not hold any importance then later on future in future there were certain scientists who came forward with the importance of the primary teeth like Robert Buman and Gerald and Eustatius illustrated various primary and permanent teeth then eruption and exfoliation of teeth and the importance of the teeth in the arch then Robert Buman was also known as the father of periodontics in the world then Later on, uh, further, further organizations and associations of periodontists were formed. For example, the first, there was a club which was formed, it is a Detroit Study Club, which was formed in the 1926. After that, the American slowly and gradually, the American Society of Periodontics, or then the American Society of Pediatric Dentistry, American Association of Pediatric Dentistry, and finally, the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry came into being in the year 1969. Now, after discussing the history of periodontists in the world, let us discuss what is a periodontic triangle. So, periodontic triangle is nothing but the relationship between the dentist, the parents and the child. In the triangle, the child is present at the apex of the triangle and the dentist and the parents are present at the base. So, there is an interrelationship or the interdependence of all three elements of all three factors. Here, the both the parents as well as the child has to obey to the commands of the dentist. And there's a reciprocal relationship which exists between all of them which is uh, depicted by the arrows. So there's these children are interdependent on the dentist. The ch child or the dentist has to instruct the children as well as the parent for the oral health care status and the oral health care needs and various treatment which need to be done. Recently, there was another element which was added to the periodontic triangle, which is the society. This means that the, even the oral health care needs or the development of the child, whether it be emotional or psychological or physiological or physical, all depends on the society. So society is present at the center of the triangle because society plays a major role in influencing a child. So we cannot neglect the society. The periodontic triangle was given by Dr. G. Z. Wright. Now, the patient-doctor relationship is linear in that of others. That is one is to one. But in a child, it is two is to one. Now, let us discuss what are the limitations and the horizons of the speciality of periodontist. What is the scope of the periodontist for the periodontic subject? So, periodontics, the subject has a wide horizons or has wide limits or has a wide range of activities under which 
the subject belongs to that is it belongs to various specialities and various techniques from various specialities are incorporated in the the subject of aeronautics or the techniques of aeronautics and it does not limit itself to one or the other speciality but it encompasses the entire speciality of dentistry and even the general health care of children so it inquires or requires the integration of various subjects and various specialities and adding them up to form the periodontist subject now uh, even it extends its services to the handicapped children the adolescents the infants and those with their special health care needs and even the prenatal and the postnatal health care which is oral or general is given to the mothers so the periodontics uh, this encompasses a variety of specialties like oral medicine then the oral radiology then restorative dentistry or cariology then material dentistry then preventive dentistry or interceptive dentistry then even recent trends in the caries filling of teeth then even oral pathological lesions are involved which are involved in the periodontics or children oral pathological lesions and their treatment even the oral surgical procedures which are required for the children encompassed in the periodontics subject the immunology the inter uh, immunology the periodontology the study of gingiva and the periodontium of the child the preventive interceptive periodontics like this for example, the child is having any early loss of teeth in maintenance of the space by the means of space maintainers or if there is a space lost, it is regained by the space regainers. Then pediatric endodontics which involves the pulp, the pulp therapy procedures like the pulpotomy, the pulpectomy, direct and indirect pulp capping and even periodontology. The special care dentistry is also indicate integral part of the periodontist that is the children who are special or who are handicapped children they provide special care now what are the changing trends of periodontics with time now initially it was believed that the primary teeth do not hold any importance and even the clinics had the boards depicted that children below 14 years of age are not treated in a clinic even some dentists used to say that the testis teeth have to fall and why to treat them so this was the earlier aspect but today uh, because of the importance of primary teeth is understood they are treated and periodontics has become a important speciality so the present trends in the periodontics are cardiology that is treatment of the caries of the primary teeth in at the initial level and various by various techniques like lasers or chemotherapy procedures then in the interceptive and preventive of uh, periodontics the neonatology immunology advanced restorative dentistry like biomimetic materials or smart materials have come up then preventive dentistry like pit and fissure sealants the preventive resin restoration special care dentistry and interceptive dentistry are the present trend in periodontics the recent advantage the recent advances of periodontic subject these are in the restorative dentistry that is the biomimetic materials or the smart materials have come up which resemble the tooth and have the same properties of the tooth and they are very tooth colored exactly and highly aesthetic and highly durable so they do not also cause any harm to the oral cavity or present prevent a bad effect on the oral cavity so these are smart materials or biomimetic materials then present trends in cariology like carousel and chemotherapeutic procedures have come up then laser which is a light, am light amplification stimulated emitted radi radiation which helps in treatment of various soft tissues and hard tissues then nano industry by the means of the nanoparticles or nanomaterials have come up for the treatment of the carious lesions and other lesions of the oral cavity then recent diagnosis of the caries or diagnostic techniques like and investigations like radiovisiography 
which involves a monitor and instantaneous images of the child's mouth or the teeth have come up by the means of the radiovisuography and also reducing the radiation exposure. Then air abrasion, which is a recent technique which has come up by the means of small particles, there's a jet of small particles which are focused on the carious lesion and there's an abrasion of the carious lesion. Then these are the particular uh, which are upcoming or recent advances in the periodontics as I have already told. Then there are certain applications of the lasers in periodontics which is in cardiology then treatment of heart tissue lesions, soft tissue lesions, filling of the cavity, then pulpotomy or pulpectomy, then etching, curing, bonding, and even bleaching and use of the pit and fissure sealants. Now, what are the challenges of the pediatric dentistry? The pediatric dentistry, though it is a growing branch, but still there are certain challenges which need to be met by both the pediatric dentistry and the periodontist in the present times. For example, the treatment of special child is a particular challenge. Now, what are the various recent techniques for the treatment of the special child so that for the handicapped child, so the child is very comfortably treated at the best. Then the smart materials which are coming up, technique sensitive materials which require highly skilled techniques by the periodontist. Then the lasers and other like air abrasion, these are the new techniques which have come up which require highly specified equipments for the same. Then there's an expanding problem of fluorosis in children which needs to be taken care of by the periodontist. Then certain TNG problems and sophisticated modalities for maintenance or management of pain and caries and there are certain eating disorders which are also present in children. The radiographic techniques have also come, come up with a sophisticated means. Even the feel of child abuse and neglect is upcoming and the infection control is another one of the most integral challenges of the pediatric dentistry. So as you all know, children are the building blocks of future. So we need to take care of the, the periodontist. There's a role of the periodontist to take care of the general and oral health well-being and instill a positive attitude in children so that they become a proper citizen for the future. Thank you.